In the whirlwind of the past 72 hours, a cascade of events unfolded. Regrettably, as reports from England suggest, the majority were not particularly auspicious. Harry has already set foot in Nigeria, sparking a media frenzy in the British tabloids and news circuits. The debate is rife with speculation on whether Meghan Markle somehow circumvented security to land on British soil. Anticipation was high for a rendezvous between Harry and Meghan at Heathrow Airport before jetting off to Nigeria. Yet, confirmation of such a meeting remains elusive, fueling media conjecture about Meghan's potential London appearance to bolster her husband during a challenging juncture. According to various sources in England, Harry is grappling with profound sorrow during this period. The apparent root of his distress is the missed opportunities for familial encounters during his recent visit to England. His aspirations to reunite with his father, brother, and notably, Kate Middleton, did not materialize as he had hoped. The refusal of his father and brother to meet with him inflicted a particularly acute sting. Royal family expert Tom Quinn revealed Harry's inconsolable state upon learning that his father bestowed the coveted title he longed for upon his brother. This public slight did not go unnoticed, with the British press dissecting the potential ramifications of such gestures on the already strained relations between Harry and the royal family. The royal family's conduct has come under scrutiny in light of these events. The lack of tact displayed by Charles II in awarding the honorary title to his eldest son in Harry's presence has drawn criticism and raised questions about the motives behind such decisions. Experts and commentators have deliberated on the psychological impact these actions have had on Harry and his perception of his place within the royal family. However, the concerns extend beyond the familial realm. The health of Keck Marison has become a source of mounting anxiety in recent days. Despite initial reports of a swift recovery, new information points to a grimmer outlook. Basque designer Amai Arrieta, known for her close ties with the royal family, has publicly expressed concern over the complex situation faced by Kate and William. According to Arrieta, Kate and William are enduring a veritable hell during this period of uncertainty and concern for Kate's well-being. The latest news regarding Kate Middleton's health has stirred unease in Britain. It is reported that her recuperation will take longer and be more complex than initially anticipated. Instead of a prompt return to public life in the coming weeks, there is now speculation that her comeback may be postponed until the end of summer or even later. These developments have unleashed a veritable storm within the palace, as they undermine the stability of the crown and pose additional challenges at a critical moment for the monarchical institution. A veil of secrecy and anxiety hangs over Buckingham Palace, with reports on the health of Charles II also causing alarm. European journals have reported a significant deterioration in his health in recent days, sparking speculation about his future and the impact on the stability of the British monarchy. Amidst these concerns, the absence of official statements from the palace only fuels uncertainty and media speculation. It is anticipated that the royal family will provide more detailed information about the health of Kate Merrilson and Charles Ili in the coming days. But for now, the lack of transparency is causing disappointment and concern among the British public. At a time when the British monarchy is facing multiple challenges, the unity and stability of the institution are being questioned. The current crisis has exposed internal tensions and divisions within the royal family, as well as the need to effectively address the health and well-being of its members. Against the backdrop of storms, Kerry and Meghan are in Nigeria, fulfilling charitable commitments and trying to stay out of the public eye. Their decision to travel together, despite personal difficulties, demonstrates a strong sense of unity and mutual support in tough times. As the situation develops, it is expected that the royal family will take steps to address public concerns and restore trust in the monarchical institution. However, the path to recovery and stability will be long and difficult and will require coordinated efforts from all stakeholders. The attention of the British public remains focused on future events, especially regarding the health of prominent members of the royal family. 
uncertainty and speculation have reached a peak in the absence of official announcements and selective information leaks through unofficial sources. The situation with Kate Middleton, in particular, has sparked intense debates about the transparency and responsibility of the palace in managing the health and well-being of the royal family members. Conflicting reports and ambiguous signals about her recovery have increased confusion and concern among the population, highlighting the need for greater clarity and communication from royal authorities. Designer Amaya Arietta has become one of the few voices willing to share her concerns about the health of Kerry Guillermo, indicating an atmosphere of secrecy and reluctance within the palace. The lack of official information has led to speculation about the seriousness of Kerry's situation and its influence on the stability of the British monarchy as a whole. Meanwhile, reports on the health of Charles I.I. have added an additional layer of concern and anxiety about the future of the monarchy. European journals suggest that his health is rapidly deteriorating, raising concerns about his ability to perform royal duties in the near future. In these troubling times, the unity and cohesion of the royal family are under unprecedented pressure. Reports of internal tensions and discord within the royal family fuel reflections on the future of the monarchical institution and its ability to remain relevant in the 21st century. In the absence of official pronouncements, a void of information has emerged, which the media and public have attempted to fill with rumors and conjecture. It is anticipated that the royal family will address these concerns with greater transparency and clarity in the coming days. But thus far, the lack of action has only intensified distrust and uncertainty among the British populace. In this atmosphere of uncertainty and anxiety, the role of the British monarchy as a central institution in the society and politics of the United Kingdom is being challenged. Public trust in the royal family and its ability to lead and represent the nation is being influenced by the absence of transparency and confusion surrounding the health of its most prominent members. The current crisis raises important questions about the role and relevance of the monarchy in the modern world. As the United Kingdom faces a range of political, social, and economic challenges, many are questioning whether the monarchical institution is equipped to address the problems of the 21st century and meet the changing needs and expectations of British society. The constant media attention and public scrutiny of the royal family have only heightened internal tensions and revealed disagreements within the institution. Family disputes and power struggles have become recurring themes in the media, undermining the image and reputation of the British monarchy as a whole. In this context, it is fundamentally important for the royal family to actively and transparently address the health and well-being of its members, as well as internal disagreements and familial tensions. The absence of action or an inappropriate response will only lead to further erosion of public trust in the monarchy and may have long-term consequences for its future. Beyond internal challenges, the British monarchy also faces external pressures in an increasingly globalized and diverse world. Changing societal expectations, as well as evolving social and political movements, present unique challenges for an institution rooted in centuries-old traditions and customs. In this regard, the monarchy's ability to adapt and evolve in response to social and cultural changes is fundamental to its long-term survival. This will require a proactive and responsive approach from the royal family, as well as a renewed commitment to the public of the United Kingdom. As the British monarchy faces one of its most serious crises in recent decades, it is crucial that its most distinguished members demonstrate leadership and vision to guide the institution through these difficult times. This will require a renewed commitment to the core values of the monarchy, as well as a willingness to adapt and change in response to the challenges of the modern world. Ultimately, the future of the British monarchy depends on its ability to maintain the trust and support of the British people. This will require greater transparency and accountability from the royal family, as well as a renewed commitment to the democratic values and aspirations of British society as a whole.